Hey guys, uh, Paul here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a shave uh, with uh, a, a brush uh, that was uh, made for me by uh, Scott Pavkovic. Um, I had a Plisson uh, a brush that I wanted to have a custom handle made for and Scott offered to uh, do a, a conversion for me for my Plisson knot. I had some material uh, laying around the house here uh, that I've uh, been hanging on to and I sent it up to Scott and he and asked him to make me a tulip shaped handle for my Plisson uh, knot and here's the uh, brush that uh, that he did. Um, the light really is not that great here so it uh, um, doesn't really do the, the uh, material justice but this is an interlace acrylester that has a kind of goldish brown and purple all swirled in there and it really matches the knot great. Uh, I love the tulip shape. I find it to be one of the most comfortable handle shapes uh, to use when lathering and uh, I, I can't be more happy uh, about this brush, so today I'm going to use that for you. And as a side note, when I was up in Washington State, um, I was able to, uh, I was up in Washington State uh, for my parents' 50th wedding anniversary, and while I was up there, Scott uh, texted me and uh, told me the brush was done, and when I texted him back, he uh, realized I was in Washington State, and I was able to meet up with Scott in person uh, and have lunch with him, and he gave me the uh, uh, the brush in, uh, in person, and I, it was a, really a pleasure to get to finally meet Scott uh, face to face, and uh, we had a, a nice lunch and a good time. So, uh, when he presented me with the brush, he also gave me a uh, Schick injector uh, with one of his uh, custom handles that he does for these Schick injectors, and this one is made out of Cocobolo. So, since I'm doing the uh, uh, Pavkovic uh, shave today, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the brush that he made and the handle that, or the uh, uh, razor that he uh, uh, made as well. So, um, today for my soap, I'm going to be using Barrister and Man Adagio. Um, this is one of their uh, summertime soaps, uh, and uh, this is a great soap. I love the smell of this. To me, it smells like um, cherry limeade, like you would get at Sonic uh, Drive-In. Um, I know it has some uh, uh, violet and some uh, synthetic musk in there as well, uh, but just an absolute great scent. And it has a little bit of menthol in there as well, so as your shave goes on, you start to kind of feel this uh, really pleasant uh, menthol tingle uh, on top of the, just this absolutely fabulous scent. So I'm going to go ahead and use that today. We'll go ahead and um, just going to wet my brush off here a little bit. And we'll go ahead and start lathering this up. And we'll get on with the shade. So I got my first uh, uh, Poisson uh, synthetic at uh, L'Occitane um, maybe about six or eight months ago. Um, and uh, I was in the... Uh, a Loxaton store in the Scottsdale Fashion Square and I'd heard all kinds of good reviews about it, how great it was and, and I'm pretty much a uh, uh, tried and true badger guy, I love my badger brushes um, but I got this just, just to give it a try I had actually um, about a year or two ago bought a Loxaton synthetic travel brush that just absolutely sucked um, the thing was really uh, um, prickly and very uncomfortable and really only suited for bowl lathering. So, um, you know, that kind of put me off on the synthetic brushes for a while. Um, but I had since gotten a, a Rudy Vey um, custom uh, brush with a, a Mula synthetic handle or synthetic knot that I really liked. So um, I was kind of anxious to try this Poisson and when I got it I was just really tickle pink about the brush. It, it really is one of the best uh, synthetic or best even best brushes uh, that I've used and I, I've been just really happy with them. Um, I recently got another one because uh, I wanted to have a custom handle made for it and uh, I've just been absolutely uh, thrilled with it. So I'm going to go ahead and just wet my face and we'll go ahead and start lathering. And sadly, uh, it seems that uh, this brush has been discontinued by Plisson or L'Occitane. Uh, um, but fortunately, still many of the stores have these in stock. So uh, if you're interested in one you might, and you have a L'Occitane store near you, you may want to go down there and see if you can still 
pick one up. Um, for fifty-five dollars, this really this brush is really uh, quite the bargain uh, as far as face feel performance and and uh, you know just the the way that it works. It just feels great on the face and uh, really will lather pretty much anything. Um, so a lot of the hype, I think the hype that this brush has gotten is really warranted. It's really a great brush. So. Okay, let me just rinse this soap off a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit more water to my lather here and then we'll get going. It's looking pretty good. The uh, Barrister Man soaps have really been uh, impressive to me. Um, they're very easy to lather. They, they uh, do uh, tolerate uh, and actually like quite a bit of water added to them. So it's hard to overwater them. Uh, they're very stable, uh, very cushiony, slick, great performance. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And their uh, fragrances, or their scents, are really, uh, I've been really happy with their, with the uh, fragrances uh, and scents of their soap. They really do a great job with that. From what I can tell, they uh, uh, blend their fragrances uh, uh, in-house. And they've really also done some kind of you know, out of the box sort of uh, shaving soap fragrances. Um, the Rome, which is the uh, tobacco uh, kind of leather campfire uh, soap, uh, smelling soap. Uh, it's supposed to evoke images of a cowboy out on the, the range in the Wild West. And boy, it really does that. It's uh, really a pretty uh, interesting soap. Uh, and the scent is really. Pretty avant-garde uh, for a shaving soap, and then recently they did the uh, Petrichor, which is supposed to smell like uh, you know the ground or uh, you know the earth after a heavy rain, and it really captures the smell of uh, you know damp earth, uh, ozone, and uh, it really does evoke images of going outside after a uh, heavy thunderstorm or something of that nature, and uh, uh, really a pretty amazing uh, soap. Um, so aside from the sense, the performance of these soaps is just really outstanding. Um, I can't say enough about them. I've been very impressed with them and very happy with them. Um, they do have another summertime soap called Solstice, which I also have, uh, which I like a lot, which is um, sort of a mixture of uh, lime, um, pepper, and rose absolute. and. Uh, um, that is, uh, you know, when you read those notes, you think it would be kind of a citrusy smelling soap. And really, to me, it's really a nice, fresh, kind of green uh, smelling uh, soap. The fragrance is really nice. So both these summer soaps really turned out great, and I've been real happy with them. So I just have a regular stick injector in this razor. Just the, uh, the regular Schick blades that are made in China, nothing fancy or special. And I really like this longer handle. It kind of, you know, for whatever reason, it just feels better in the hand than the, uh, than the standard, uh, Then the standard uh, handle comes from the factory. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do pass number
And I think as I've said in, the, in some previous videos, the chick injected style razors are really a good, uh, you know, sometimes maybe a good razor for guys starting out with, uh, you know, classic wet shaving, you know, um, has sort of the ergo ergonomics of a, uh, of a regular of a regular um, you know injector razor but you're still using just a single blade so anyways uh, they're very comfortable easy to use and uh, if you're you know if you're you know accustomed to using a cartridge uh, the ergonomics of this uh, razor would be you know pretty familiar to you so so it may be a good transition uh, into the uh, wet shaving world uh, for guys that are just starting out, maybe a little bit nervous about trying a regular DE or a straight razor or something like that. So, so, uh, so please face, please face with some uh, nice uh, moisturization. You do feel a little bit of that menthol tingle. It's not a heavy menthol tingle. Um, but it's there, you know it's there. And uh, for my aftershave today, I'm just going to be using the Cramperts Finest to Frostbite. Uh, love this aftershave. Um, haven't been using it as much because uh, I was going crazy with that uh, fine snake bite. But this is a great menthol aftershave as well. Uh, this one actually has kind of a, a peppermint and pine sort of smell to it. Um, and and uh, has a nice moisturizing effect. And it's not as... Uh, um, the menthol on this one, I think as I stated before, um, is not right in your face when you per first put it on. Um, when you first put it on, you get a little bit of a, a tingle with it. Um, but then this one, the coolness of the menthol sort of comes on uh, slowly uh, over the next couple seconds after you apply it. And uh, it's really a, a great aftershave. And uh, the menthol uh, tingle does tend to last for a little while with this one. So anyways, guys, uh, that's the shave for this weekend. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Scott, thanks for uh, these wonderful, uh, the wonderful brush and the, and the great razor. Uh, I love them. And uh, I hope you all guys all have a great weekend, uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.